energy for any dumb shit I see happen around me. This shit is so dumb. It's like, for those who don't know, my cameraman, Chris, the nigga that helped me with Matter My Stream. He's a pedophile! Matter My Tech shit. In 2021, just got caught talking to a minor who was 17 years old. And it's just annoying when shit happened. And shit come up every time, bro. I get connected in situations. Help me relax, bro. Apparently in 2021, this nigga was caught talking to somebody that's not the age of consent. It gets bad because he lied about her age. She said she was 19. He should have did that shit in 2014. She lied about her age. She ended up saying her age. Said she was 17. At that moment, you're supposed to stop texting. Right at that moment, you're supposed to drop all conversation. Anything that's below the age of consent, you're not supposed to talk to them. It is not cool. Everything, everything. I reached out to the person who went online and did all the other shit. She basically, she showed me every single thing. I asked her to confirm the iMessage, to confirm the number. It's confirmed. All right, all that shit is confirmed. Why are we twinning right now? That shit is honestly insane. Fucking day. Shit, fuck me up. Cause like, nigga, what the fuck are you doing? Like, what are you doing? I don't really want to like, get a TikTok clip. Like I, a, but I, I don't know what to say. Vision. I don't want to like, be canceled. How I want. I need to stop crying and shit. Like, stop crying, bitch. Yeah. Crying over another. Somebody who helped me start my whole shit. Some messages that it's, it's like a, it's some messages that looks fucking crazy, bro. Nigga. You feel me? I'm not. I'm gonna keep it. I'm not sugarcoating shit. The shit was fucking crazy, bro. And the shit me up the whole day, gang. Like the, the whole fucking day. Shit me up. Cause like, nigga, what the fuck are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Like, nigga, I had a, I have a whole vision. Like, how I want. I need to stop crying and shit. Like. Chris doesn't care. Chris can't hear you. They probably pay that nigga good. That nigga set for life. You set a pedophile up for life. But I know that's eating away at him because that's his friend right there. I'll be mad as hell too. That's if that's my friend and we came up together, I'll be mad as hell too. And you go talk to a, a, a seventeen year old. But the thing about it is, in New York, seventeen year olds are legal. Seventeen year olds are illegal in New York. So pretty much, if they give that consent you could hook up with them. It's just the internet. The internet is gonna be the internet at the end of the day. The internet is gonna say what they wanna say. You know why? Because the internet is transgender people. I don't know how it switched to that topic, but. Crying as shit. It's okay, Kai. Ah, let me tell you. Get sturdy. Oh my God! Get sturdy. Um, PR team is on it. Uh, I think they said today he's in like a, a comic book or whatever that shit is. That PR go crazy, bro. It's like every time something happens that's bad, the next day that nigga's doing something else. I wish I was in that situation. I don't. I'm just. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Fucking remember this. So when he finally finds it, he's like, bro, rage. And when he finally remembered the girl, I'm like, bro, this is what he told me. I'm like, bro, Chris, bro. He, first he's like, yo. He told me she told me she was nineteen. And for months I'm thinking she's nineteen. And we was talking crazy when she was nineteen and I was twenty one. And I'm like, bro, but she told you she was seventeen and eventually. And what happened next? And he says he was like, Bro, we just played cut like nothing crazy happened next. And one time on FaceTime, she said she was actually eighteen. I'm like, yo, how did you even get on FaceTime with her if she was seventeen? Like like what, what like what like why? Like what are you doing? Like why, bro? Like what are you doing? He's like, I don't know. But like you gotta understand, like I wasn't just sending those messages. Like she he was she was sending me like voicemails and shit. And she played the voicemail like oh I don't care. I don't wanna hear them but I don't care. Like why are you entertaining it though? I, I don't care if she started it. Why are you entertaining it, bro? Why are you entertaining you want some pussy? People on the internet are horny nowadays. They're horny because they see all these bad bitches. They see all these bad bitches popping up everywhere and they get horny. Like you watching this. Gus, I know you horny. I know you watching this, Gus. You're my, you're my favorite little person I groomed. But all y'all niggas are horny, bro. You see these supermodels on the internet, you, you fucking bookmark them. It's just like, these niggas are horny behind the scenes. They'll talk the most shit about OnlyFans women and then they'll be the first person in their DMs. Like, I be seeing these Twitter pages that be trying to cancel OnlyFans workers and shit like that. But they're fat. They sit at a computer all day. They get no pussy. And they're ugly as shit. And they have pimples like me.
At least I'm only two of those things. Chris is in a bad situation. When you're online, bro, there must be something wrong with you. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know why you're trying to be like Chris Tyson for. But it didn't work out for you, my nigga. You lost your job, my nigga. You lost all the clout. You can't even get a bitch nowadays. They're gonna say, yep, that's that pedophile right there. Your name is all over the internet. You're done. You're done. And then complex, compl complex, and then comp, and then Compton, and then complex, and then Compton, and then clop, and then complex went and posted this fucking post that wasn't even the real Chris. So now they got two AMP members down. I wasn't kidding. I actually want to get to know you, Chris, AMP editor. Oh, laughing my ass off. You cool, but respectfully, I'm actually 17. My friends told me to say I'm 19, but you know, I got to let you know the truth. So first of all, you told him that he was 19. He should have never entertained it. Once she said she was 17, the nigga should have stopped. But he wanted that tight, dyke ass pussy. He wanted that. That's what he wanted. If this nigga thinks he's ugly or something, but you have Kai Sinat. Body. What you mean I got Discord? I play video games, so yeah, of course I'm gonna have Discord too. You see, that's different. I was about to say normally only girls are into video games. What you know what about Discord? What do you be playing? This nigga's still going. This nigga's hunting for gold. What was so Illuminati say? You 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 down bad. You're not even that ugly. What a nigga look like. I've mistaken. Like I could just imagine rubbing my on yo. I'll put my hoe down your throat. This nigga, this nigga spin. <laughs> nigga writing a song. Just pick your leg up and put you in your side and just slowly fuck you while I choke you and ride. That's a, that's that's a bar. Okay, let me take it serious. No joke, my dick hard as fuck right now, just for you. I'm so fucking hard. What the fuck? What are you gonna do about it? You would let me F you right now? Pussy probably wet. Is it? Is that a pick of his? Okay, yeah, that's a pick of his. Because uh, his cameraman, Chris, was messaging a 17-year-old who lied. She said she was 19, and then it turns out she was 17. I don't even think there's proof that he kept on messaging her. But Kai Sinat had to cry on camera and disavow him. One of his day ones, I even knew Chris Media. When I was on AMP, when I was like filming videos with AMP back in the day, I knew Chris for a long time. I thought he was a cool guy. But the girl lied, she's 19, she pretended to be 19, she's 17. And let's be real, Kai Sinat did not fire him because he was messaging a lying 17 year old. He fired her because of the public pressure. This is how it is for mainstream influencers. That's kind of bad. Brand deals supersede friendship, even with a day one. That's why he was crying, he was upset, anymore. the tears weren't fake. He's upset Who that cares? he's so in deep with his career views. that he needs to cut off one of his best friends. Someone who was there before all the money and success because of public pressure. If he was never caught, do you think he would have been cut off? Absolutely not. That was dramatic as fuck. The fuck is this? Get the fuck on my face, you hey, sponsorships later on in life. Get back the fuck up, you fucking person. Oh, I wanna say, I wanna say sink so bad. What the fuck am I doing? Hey, man, I'm telling you, bro. All these people you look up to, even me, I could be a porn star in the making. I could be getting fucked in the ass right now. You would never know. All these niggas y'all look up to, they're sketchy, they're disrespectful, or they're everybody hates Chris. But what I wanna say is, bro, don't talk to children.